All right, I'm gonna crap all over my portfolio and I'm gonna tell you why I think it sucks and what I'm doing to make it better. So check it out. This is at Contra.com for those of you who are living under a rock. It is the modern dribble replacement, essentially. I really like how it's set up. And this is my portfolio. There are nine different projects right here, as you can see. And the reason I say that this sucks is not because any of you know the, the quality of any of the individual pieces of work sucks themselves, but it's because there is no apparent direction. All right, so take this for instance. This is an identity design project right here. The next one is this weird UI looking thing. You don't even know what the hell this is because it's so strange looking. And this is from a course I released earlier this year. Um, and it's basically a web UI using Rive and Unicorn Studio. So we have this identity project, then we have a web project. We have another identity video right here, this type of project. And then right here we have me in video. Like, what is this? Like, <laughs> look at that stupid face. Like, what is this situation? Like, okay, I guess it's another web project with me and video. We have another identity project right here. Then we have another identity project. Then we have another web project down here. And then finally we have, I don't even know what these are, right? Like a person, I'm, I'm talking from the perspective of a client. Like, what is this? Is it like a UI? Like, what is this? This is me experimenting with Rive, by the way. Uh, same thing right here. This is a part of a course that I released as well earlier in the year using Rive to create this cool sort of animation. So the problem is, is there's not much of a direction. You know, typically when clients go to sites like Contra, they're looking for somebody to either design, you know, just to handle the brand identity design or handle the web UI UX or to handle motion design or to handle 3D. They're looking for specialists for the most part. So the reason I don't have a specialty right now is because A, I've been in the teaching gig for so long, I don't wanna to use tutorial projects that I teach others to learn from, that doesn't make sense to me. And also B, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to get back into my work. Back in the past when I did client work, which is 13 plus years ago for a period of about 10 years, I did mainly brand identity design. Now I'm mostly known for UI UX design from the channel because I can handle that as well. So. What I'm going to be doing though, is I am transitioning to the, a, a portfolio that features just solely brand identity design, because that is where most of my experience lied in the professional sense of when I was doing freelance work. So what I will be doing is removing, you know, these Rive projects, I'll be removing the, uh, the UI UX projects as well. And I'm going to have a sole focus on brand identity design. And that is going to allow me to actually get a lot more clients. Now you can see it says I've been hired two times, but one of those was because I won a spline hackathon for this project the note fury project. But also this is another very important point. I did get my first client about three weeks ago from Contra from somebody who landed on my portfolio. And this person runs an AI infused music service. So this is another very important part of the puzzle that you know, if you have a portfolio, if you can niche down to one certain area, you will get clients in that area or that industry. So the reason they chose me is because you could see guitars right here in two of these projects. Yes, I'm a hobby musician. That's a stage back there. You can see the drum set. Over there's a bunch of guitars. I, and I've personally created two different, you know, AI based projects. I'm not AI, but music based projects. So when somebody's looking who has like an AI based music service, for instance, it's going to behoove them to find somebody who's not just, you know, a designer, but somebody who has direct domain experience as well. So that's why they hired me, which is a, a very, another take, you know, a route that you can take. You can niche down and specialize in a certain industry. And you'll find that if you can make a name for yourself in that industry, you'll also find that you'll have a lot more success in landing clients. So that's just a quick video. I wanted to put that out there. I'm actually, I, I just purchased a domain and made this right here, illogic.com with a K. And that's going to be my new brand identity design service. And I'm excited to kind of like, I, uh, you know, really develop this out as I start adding and building more brand identity projects, especially to build out my portfolio here. Now, 
well, another thing I wanted to show real quick before I end is, you know, you could take a look here in Contra if you go to the Discover section and then you click on People. And let's say, you know, you, you have, you know, your skill is 3D, you know, type in 3D after, you know, specifying the people toggle over here. And you'll find people that specialize in 3D who have success. All right. So what I mean by success is if you scroll down, you'll see right here, for instance, where it says 25K plus, they've been hired 35 times. All right. Well, what does their portfolio look like? What is the quality of this person's portfolio? So I'll click on this, we come down. Yeah, we have some 3D, we have 3D here. And you can just kind of get an idea of the level of quality and also the type of projects that have ended up with that person, you know, being, you know, relatively successful here on Contra. Now, another great example of this is Mark's portfolio here, over 250,000 earned. This person does premium 2D and 3D promo videos for startups, okay? So for big startups. You look at the design here and you'll see just obviously all video based projects. You know, they're not trying to be a design generalist that tackles everything. That's going to be a big pitfall, especially if you're just a solo one man show creative. So that's why I haven't had a lot of success, but I know what the steps are to take to fix it, but it's just gonna take time to build up those brand identity projects. So that's what I'm doing. Definitely follow I, Illogic on the X account. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of projects that I make in terms of brand identity design there specifically. And so hopefully that helped you all. I will see you all very soon. I'll be give, giving updates on the progression of my Contra profile as well. I'll see you all very soon, goodbye.